I need to take the jacket off because it is already getting hot in here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I'm going to go over the spiciest books that I have ever read. And it's a good thing that I'm doing this because apparently my nose is already running. <laughs> it's already getting too hot in here. So I read anything from YA romance to the adultiest of all adults. <laughs> I like spicy books. I like there to be sex scenes in my books. I just think it provides a well-rounded romance, okay? That isn't to say that I don't enjoy closed door romances, but I usually don't. <laughs> very rare that I will pick up a closed door romance because I just feel cheated somehow. <laughs> so my definition of spicy is definitely lots of heat. <laughs> lots of heat, multiple sex scenes, or the couple in it um, is hot from page one and then maybe one or two sex scenes at the end. Okay, we're gonna go with a plethora, a range of romances. So let's get into it. I will start with historical romances because I think in general, I read a lot of trade historical romances and they aren't as spicy as some of the other books on this list, <laughs> but they still have some great scenes, memorable scenes that I consider some of the spiciest scenes for trade paperback romances. The first book I want to talk about is The Prince of Broadway by Joanna Shoup. Is this book overly spicy? No. But is there one of the hottest scenes in historical romance I have ever read in this? Yes. And it is a mutual masturbation scene. These two don't even touch each other. <laughs> but they're running away from the law. The gambling hall that they're in is being raided. So they're hiding out in a room that is like a voyeuristic room. And they are listening and watching other people have sex behind this wall. And in doing so, they both get a little overcome. <laughs> And then they have to go to opposite sides of the room and take care of themselves. And then in doing so, the sounds that they're making just makes it hotter for them as well. And they both have a fantastic finale <laughs> that they give themselves. And it was just one of those scenes that continues to stick with me. And I'm just like, <sighs> it was great. The next spicy historical romance. <laughs> Again, on the scale here, a little bit lower, but still great. We have The Duke in Question by Amelie Howard. The reason why I'm putting this on this list is because you have basically two spies. He's a former spy and she's a current spy trying to bring papers over to America to thwart the assassination of Lincoln. On this ship, they kind of have a, have a little cat and mouse game. And then once they get to America, he's trying to arrest her. And they both get in trouble from other people trying to shoot them. <laughs> so they are fleeing in the middle of this forest. They finally get a moment of peace in this forest. And they are just so hopped up on adrenaline. And they just need to bang it out. <laughs> And she is actually a virgin, and it is one of the hottest deflowering scenes up against a tree I have ever read. <laughs> he doesn't know she's a virgin. She is well into it, and it is just, whoo, whoo. Loved it. I loved it so much. The rest of the book is great. If you're looking for a spy romance, pick this one up. So the next book I have is a fantasy romance. And again, we're going from <laughs> lowest spiciness to the highest spiciness, I think, here. And the book I have is A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Melivane. This one gets going right from the beginning. Um, uh, they don't want to, it's like an arranged marriage type situation, but he's a barbarian warrior and they first have their first scene together intimate scene together a bit is him in front of his whole clan or whatever and there's some blood play going on in this and then later in the book there's this scene by a pool that is just like 
so good so good i don't want to get into it too much but this definitely has some spicy scenes in it again not the whole book is not spicy but it's so good it's so good and these are actually true enemies to lovers here so i just ah, loved it the next spicy book is hold by claire kent this book is set in a prison on a prison planet and what else is there to do in prison but have sex? I don't know. <laughs> Granted, this is a little bit of a darker romance, but you have a girl that um, in order to survive, she must like give herself to a man who can protect her. Luckily, she chooses a good one, and these two just cannot stay away from each other whether they like it or not. <laughs> they are constantly together in a small cell in forced proximity and he also takes care of her. Um, this relationship does become very sweet in nature but uh, yeah it was it was a hot is a hot one. <laughs> the next book on my list is Blood Orange by Karina Halley. Oh boy <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Um, in this book, you have a witch who is hunting the vampire that inspired Dracula. So he's not exactly Dracula, but um, he's very similar. And they are a, this is a student-teacher relationship. He is a music teacher. She is an organist, which I have no idea how you make an organ sexy, but Karina Halley did it. This hero really likes um, fluids. <laughs> I don't know how to say it with without laughing or blushing um yeah <laughs> one of the spicy things that i read sometimes is where the hero like things are dripping <laughs> you have to just put it back in there <laughs> it's like a cleanup thing i guess <laughs> but it's also like a take all of me <laughs> Whew. <laughs> blushing. Anyways, this book is very spicy. <laughs> it also leaves off on a huge cliffhanger. So wait to read this until the second one comes out in a few weeks. Um, I believe at the end of March. <laughs> but this one is really great. Really great. You also have a very hot scene on top of an organ in a music room. And great. It's greatness. The next spicy book that I have ever read is Gothicana by Runix. Um, this one, again, is a student-teacher relationship at a gothic school. Um, I can't remember the whole plot, but I sure remember the spicy scenes in this. <laughs> she is after him for some reason, and when they get together, it's really hot. Um, there is a car scene in here that is really great. They have to pull over in a very, um, like heavy rainstorm and yeah, things get, um, steamy inside the car <laughs> and it is just, oh my God, it's hot. It is hot. The next one I talk, want to talk about is Tragic Bonds by the Bonds That Tie series. Now, the first book in the series is definitely not spicy at all, but there's two books and we'll talk about Tragic Bonds mostly, but I also want to talk about Daddy North's book because I also think that one is very hot because when things get together with Daddy North, oof, oof, he is, he is the one to beat, but his brother, <laughs> yes, his brother, Knox. When Knox and Ollie get together, what the shadows touch on her and feel around on her is just lovely <laughs> it's just lovely i love when they finally get together these two are definitely more on the enemies to lovers side but not true i guess i don't want to say enemies to lovers because they're bonded mates and they need to get together this is a white cheese romance but this is definitely the hottest bonded mate that she has and i live for it and also a very spicy book that i read recently is the Dark King by not Lisa Maxwell, Gina Maxwell? <laughs> I think Gina Maxwell. Shoot. I don't have my tablet today, so I'll put it on the screen. But 
This one, you have a, um, it's kind of like an urban fantasy set in Las Vegas, and he is the Fey King of Vegas. This king loves kink. He loves, he, he is a kinky king, okay? <laughs> he puts her through the ringer as well, okay? And she is up for it. She is up for everything that he can give her, and he is a very dark person, so... I also thought this was very spicy. I really loved it as well. I think it's a really great different fantasy romance as well because I'm usually into like higher fantasy, but this is set in a world where, you know, that you actually know, Las Vegas. So I really enjoyed it. <laughs> the next book I would say, I believe it is classified as erotica, but I can't have this list without Katie Robert. And the spiciest one that I read from Katie Robert is Learn My Lesson. Now, Learn My Lesson is a menage between Hades, Meg, and Hercules. And Hercules is just the most adorable sub <laughs> ever. But when these two get together, holy Jesus, I had to put the book down a few times <laughs> because I was just like, wow, wow. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Katie Robert has spicier books. I usually read her monster romances, and I don't think those are as spicy as this one was, but damn, this whole series can get it. it they can just get it. Another spicy book that I read. Again, I don't think I can have this list without this book. Um, Praise by Sarah Kate. Um, this book introduced me to an age gap that I actually like and also to a dom sub relationship and praise kink that I like. I didn't think I liked those things, but it worked for me. Also, I also really don't like an office romance, but this just hit it. <laughs> this was great. Um, their relationship was also very sweet and whew, Daddy Emerson, hello. He's my first daddy that I actually liked. <laughs> okay. Like, I can't, I can't not. The next one is one that I am currently obsessed with. And it's really just because this man, <laughs> this man, every time he speaks, I blush. And that is A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows by Holly Renee and Evren. Evren is everything. He does not hold back from any of the things he says. And man, he really likes to, how do I say this? <laughs> he really loves to go down on Adara. Like if Oral were Olympics, oh my God. If oral sex was a sport in the Olympics, Evren would be a gold medalist. Okay. Listen, every time he, this is probably my most highlighted book right now. I'm reading the second one and I think I've highlighted it even more than the first one. Is this book really wild in its plot? No, it is very simple. It is very simple fantasy romance. It's also very short, but man, if you are looking for a man with a dirty mouth, Evren can get it. Evren is king of the dirty mouths. Okay. <laughs> And the last trilogy, I will say, actually, it's going to be a quartet um, on my spicy book recommendations list here is the Vicious Lost Boys series by Nikki St. Crow. Peter Pan. I do not like retellings, but this Peter Pan retelling is spicy. <laughs> Again, there are a lot of fluids going on in this book. <laughs> and there are a lot of multiple partner situations. It's also pretty bloody um, and vicious as in the title, Vicious Lost Boys and Jesus. <laughs> Holy Jesus. If I ever needed to go to church after a book, it would be this book. I love every second of this book. It's also just a very fun read and I love to see the world around it. I think my favorite character in this is actually the crocodile. Again, I just love a man with a dirty mouth. <laughs> so that's it for my list. Let me know what the spiciest book you ever read was. I know there's a ton out there. There is so many out there that I just can't keep up with, but 
Um, let me know so I can add it to my never ending TBR. All right. <laughs> Um, as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.